Stop now. 5 Foods Worsening Your Rheumatoid Arthritis Pain Imagine sitting down to enjoy your favorite meal and discovering that some of your favorite foods can actually make your joint pain worse. What if the ingredients on your plate are silently contributing to inflammation in your body? This is a common difficulty for people with rheumatoid arthritis, affecting their daily enjoyment of food. It is alarming to know that approximately 1.3 million Americans are living with rheumatoid arthritis. This chronic condition not only affects the joints but can also lead to significant lifestyle limitations, reports the Rheumatoid Arthritis Support Network. Many people with the disease are unaware of how their diet may be making their symptoms worse. This is why in today's video we highlight the top 5 foods you need to avoid if you have rheumatoid arthritis. Identifying these harmful foods is important for anyone who wants to control their symptoms more effectively. By staying away from these diet culprits and replacing them with more nutritious foods, you can take an important step in reducing inflammation and improving the quality of life for you and those around you. Let's start the video with food first. 1. Processed Foods Processed foods, or processed foods, are foods that have undergone industrial processing, are often prepackaged and have a long shelf life. The most special feature of this food is its convenience, but behind it is a worrying story about health. The scientific reason behind the negative impact of processed foods on rheumatoid arthritis lies in their nutritional composition. These foods are often high in unhealthy fats, refined carbohydrates, added sugars, and sodium, all of which can contribute to inflammation in the body. For example, a 28G package of potato chip snacks can contain up to 10G of fat, including 3G of saturated fat, 15G of carbohydrates, and 170 mg of sodium. These numbers may seem small, but when accumulated over time, they can have a significant impact on our health. According to a study published in the BMJ Journal in 2019, every 10% increase in the amount of processed foods in the daily diet increases the risk of cardiovascular disease by 12% and the risk of stroke by 11%. This is especially important for people with rheumatoid arthritis, as they are already at higher risk for cardiovascular diseases. One thing that few people know is that processed foods not only affect our bodies but also affect our mood and spirit. Another study published in Frontiers in Nutrition in 2022 found that high consumption of processed foods was associated with an increased risk of depression and anxiety. To avoid processed foods, instead of buying canned foods, learn how to make sweet and sour dishes at home. You can soak carrots or cucumbers in a mixture of vinegar, water, sugar, and spices. This helps you control sugar and salt intake, while increasing probiotics that are beneficial to the gut. Experiment with natural spices to enhance the flavor of your dishes without using processed sauces. Use turmeric powder, contains curcumin with anti-inflammatory effects, combined with black pepper to increase absorption. Instead of buying packaged bread, learn how to make unleavened bread at home. The natural fermentation process helps reduce phytic acid levels, a substance that can cause inflammation in some people. When shopping, apply the five-ingredient rule. Choose only products with no more than five ingredients and all of which you can read and understand. Instead of drinking canned fruit juice, dilute fresh fruit juice with filtered water in a 1 to 3 ratio. This helps reduce sugar intake while still providing necessary vitamins and minerals. Next, let's learn about a popular drink that can be harmful to people with rheumatoid arthritis. What is it and why is it worrying? 2. Alcohol Alcohol is a nerve stimulant produced from the fermentation of sugar and starch. For people with rheumatoid arthritis, the most special feature of alcohol is its ability to cause and worsen inflammatory responses in the body. When drinking alcohol, the liver has to work harder to metabolize alcohol, leading to the production of inflammatory compounds. This can worsen arthritis, making symptoms such as pain, swelling and stiffness more severe. A recent study of rheumatoid arthritis patients found that drinking just 12 ounces of beer, about 355 milliliters, can increase levels of C-reactive protein, CRP, a marker of inflammation, by up to 25% in the morning within 24 hours. This is different from other beverages such as water or green tea, which do not cause the same inflammatory response. In particular, green tea also contains powerful antioxidants such as EGCG, which can help reduce inflammation in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Furthermore, 
for people being treated for rheumatoid arthritis, alcohol can reduce the ability to absorb important nutrients like vitamin D and calcium, which are essential for bone and joint health. For example, drinking a glass of wine, 150 milliliters, can reduce calcium absorption by up to 20% within two hours of drinking, which can increase the risk of osteoporosis, a common complication of the disease. A little-known fact is that alcohol can interact with many rheumatoid arthritis medications, reducing their effectiveness and even causing serious side effects. For example, drinking alcohol with methotrexate, a common drug in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, can increase the risk of liver damage 13 times compared to using the drug alone. This is especially dangerous because liver damage may have no obvious symptoms in the early stages. In addition, alcohol can also cause hormone imbalance in the body, especially cortisol, a hormone related to stress and inflammation responses. A glass of red wine, about 150 milliliters, can increase cortisol levels by up to 30% within 30 minutes of drinking, which can last up to two hours. For rheumatoid arthritis patients, this can lead to chronic inflammation, exacerbating symptoms such as joint pain, swelling and stiffness, especially in the morning. Instead of drinking alcohol, try celery juice. Celery contains lutolin, a natural anti-inflammatory that can help reduce pain and swelling in joints affected by rheumatoid arthritis. One cup of celery juice, 240 milliliters, can provide up to 25 milligrams of lutolin, which effectively reduces inflammation. You can combine celery juice with a little fresh ginger for added flavor and anti-inflammatory effects. Use kombucha tea instead of beer. Kombucha contains probiotics that help improve intestinal microflora, thereby reducing systemic inflammation, an important factor in managing rheumatoid arthritis. One cup of kombucha, 240 milliliters, contains about 1 billion units of beneficial bacteria. You can make your own kombucha at home with green tea and a little sugar, then add antioxidant-rich fruits like blueberries or strawberries for added flavor and health benefits. Practice yoga or meditation before bed instead of drinking alcohol to relax. Research shows that 20 minutes of meditation a day can reduce inflammation levels in the body by up to 50%, while also improving sleep quality, two important factors in managing rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. You can start with simple breathing exercises, then gradually increase the duration and complexity of the exercises. After learning about the effects of alcohol on rheumatoid arthritis, are you curious to know about another food group? 3. Nightshade Vegetables Nightshade vegetables, also known as nightshade vegetables, are a group of plants that include familiar vegetables that we often use in daily meals such as tomatoes, potatoes, bell peppers and eggplant. At first glance, they seem harmless and even nutritious. However, what is special and little known is that they contain a compound called solanine, a natural alkaloid that can cause an inflammatory response in some people, especially those with rheumatoid arthritis. Some studies show that about 5-10% to of people with RA may be sensitive to nightshade vegetables. This means that out of every 100 people with RA, as many as 5-10 to 10 may have problems consuming these vegetables. For example, 100 g of tomatoes contain about 0.7-2.0 to mg of solanine, an amount that may seem small but is enough to cause a reaction in sensitive people. For this reason, nightshade vegetables have become one of the foods to consider avoiding for some RA patients. The notable difference of nightshade vegetables compared to other foods in this topic is that they are not harmful to everyone. In fact, for most people, they are very nutritious and healthy. Only a small number of people with RA need to limit or eliminate them from their diet. This creates an interesting challenge in dietary management for RA patients, requiring individualization and careful monitoring. Another interesting fact is that the way of cooking can significantly affect the solanine content of foods. Cooking can reduce the amount of solanine, but does not completely eliminate it. For example, boiling potatoes can reduce the amount of solanine by 50 to 60 percent. This means that if you are sensitive to solanine but still want to enjoy potatoes, cooking them thoroughly can help reduce the risk of a reaction. Also, another interesting fact is that not all chili peppers belong to the nightshade family. Black and white peppers are actually seeds of the pepper plant, not members of the nightshade family. This can be good news for those who are sensitive to nightshade vegetables but still want to add a little spicy flavor to their dishes. 
instead of completely eliminating nightshade vegetables from your diet, which can significantly reduce valuable nutrients, you can try these creative ways, this is an effective but often overlooked method. Keep detailed track of what you eat and your symptoms for 2 to 3 weeks to accurately determine if nightshade vegetables are really affecting you. Take note of both dosage and eating time for a comprehensive view. Instead of eating tomatoes every day, try eating them every other day or twice a week. This can help reduce the load on your digestive and immune systems, while still allowing you to enjoy these nutritious fruits and vegetables. Eating nightshade vegetables along with omega-3 rich foods like salmon or chia seeds can help balance the inflammatory effects. For example, you could try a tomato salad with grilled salmon and chia seeds. Choose varieties low in solanine. Some new potato varieties such as lenape contain 70% less solanine than conventional varieties. Please research and choose these varieties if possible. If you still want to enjoy your potatoes, peel them thoroughly and remove any green sprouts before cooking. Boil or steam potatoes instead of frying them to reduce solanine content. Instead of eggplant, try portobello mushrooms, instead of potatoes you can use sweet potatoes or beets. These substitutions not only help avoid solanine but also provide many other nutritional benefits. By applying these tips and advice, you can enjoy a varied and nutritious diet while keeping RA symptoms under control. Remember, everybody is different, so it's important to listen to yours and find the method that works best for you. Moving forward, in addition to the foods that can cause inflammation for some people as we just discussed in detail, are there any common drinks that people with rheumatoid arthritis should consider limiting? 4. Sugary Drinks Sugar-sweetened beverages, which contain significant amounts of sugar, are often added during the manufacturing process. Their most special feature is their ability to cause inflammation in the body, something many people do not realize. Science shows that high blood sugar levels after drinking these drinks can trigger inflammation, worsening symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. The significant difference between sugary drinks and other foods is the extremely fast absorption of sugar into the blood. For example, a 330 milliliters can of soft drink can contain up to 39 grams of sugar, equivalent to nearly 10 teaspoons of sugar. This amount of sugar quickly enters the blood, causing blood sugar spikes and stimulating an inflammatory response. Did you know that sugary drinks can also affect your body's ability to absorb calcium? This is especially dangerous for people with rheumatoid arthritis, because they are already at higher risk of osteoporosis. One study found that drinking 2 to 3 cans of soft drinks a day can increase the risk of bone fractures by up to 26%. In particular, these drinks often contain additives such as phosphoric acid, which can reduce the ability to absorb magnesium, an important mineral for bone and joint health. A 250 milliliters glass of soft drink can contain up to 55 milligrams of phosphoric acid, enough to have a significant impact. So how to improve this situation? Here are some tips that few people know. Instead of drinking canned fruit juice, try diluting fresh juice with filtered water in a 1 to 3 ratio, helping to reduce the amount of sugar from 25 g to 6 g in 1 liter of drink. Use herbs such as mint, basil, or lavender to flavor filtered water, which is both delicious and has natural anti-inflammatory effects, with peppermint essential oil being able to reduce inflammation by up to 30% in the morning. Experimenting with matcha green tea, just one half teaspoon of matcha powder, about 1 g, in a cup of warm water provides the amount of EGCG equivalent to 3 cups of regular green tea, helping to effectively reduce inflammation. Drink fresh coconut water instead of energy drinks, a 240 milliliters cup only contains about 6 g of natural sugar, compared to 26 g of sugar in the same amount of energy drink. Create detox water by soaking berries, cucumbers, and lemons in filtered water overnight. One liter of detox water only contains about 2-3 g of natural sugar, while also providing vitamin C and antioxidants. Remember, Cutting back on sugary drinks not only helps control rheumatoid arthritis but also provides many other health benefits such as reducing the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Next, do you know which foods are often prepared by soaking them in hot oil, creating a crispy exterior but filled with unhealthy fats on the inside, which can increase inflammation in the body? 5. Fried Foods Hello dear friends! 
Today we will learn together about a topic that is very important to our health, especially those with rheumatoid arthritis. Let's explore fried food and its impact. Fried foods, also known as fried foods, are dishes prepared by soaking in hot oil. This process creates a crispy outer layer and retains moisture inside the food. However, behind that delicious taste lies a disturbing scientific story. The most special feature of fried foods is the formation of glycation end products, ages. Ages are complex chemical compounds created when food is exposed to high temperatures during frying. These compounds can cause inflammation in the body, which is especially dangerous for people with rheumatoid arthritis. For example, a 100g piece of fried chicken can contain up to 5,763 kilo units of ages, while the same amount of grilled chicken only contains 1,124 ku of ages. This number shows the significant disparity and potential dangers of fried foods. Many people think that simply limiting their intake of fried foods is enough, but the truth is more complicated than that. A recent study found that regularly consuming fried foods can increase the risk of rheumatoid arthritis by up to 30%. What few people expect is that the oil used for frying also plays an important role. Reused oils can contain toxic compounds like acrolein, a substance that can damage DNA and increase the risk of infection. One study showed that oil reused five times can contain up to 60 mg of acrolein slash kg, six times higher than new oil. In addition, frying temperature also affects the formation of ages. Frying at temperatures above 180 degrees Celsius can double the amount of ages compared to frying at 160 degrees Celsius. This is why temperature control when preparing food is so important. Instead of completely giving up your favorite foods, you can apply some of the following tips to minimize the harm. Use an air fryer. This is a great way to get crispiness without soaking food products in oil. An oil-free fryer can reduce the amount of ages by up to 50% compared to traditional frying methods. Marinate foods with anti-inflammatory spices like turmeric, ginger, or garlic before cooking. These spices have natural anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce the harmful effects of ages. When eating fried foods, including a salad rich in vitamin C and E, these antioxidants can help neutralize some of the harmful effects of ages. Choosing oils with a high smoke point such as extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil helps reduce the formation of toxic compounds when frying. Finally, apply the quick frying method by reducing the food's contact time with hot oil, frying at high temperature for a short time, then draining the oil thoroughly on absorbent paper. Hey friends! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Vitality Solutions. Hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest health tips and advice. In summary, ignoring these simple yet effective tips can lead to severe consequences for your health. By not making these small changes, you risk worsening your rheumatoid arthritis, leading to unbearable pain and immobility. It's a choice between following these easy steps or facing a condition that even doctors may find challenging to manage. The benefits of implementing these suggestions are immense, reduced inflammation, improved mobility, and a better quality of life. This video has provided you with straightforward advice on how to improve your condition by avoiding certain foods and opting for healthier alternatives. These tips are not just easy to follow but can make a significant difference in your life. Remember, small changes in your diet can have a huge impact. Start incorporating these tips today to see noticeable improvements in your health. Replace harmful foods with nutritious options, and you'll be on your way to feeling better and living a more active life. The decision is yours, you can either take these actionable steps and improve your health or ignore them and potentially face severe health issues that no doctor can easily fix. Make the right choice for a healthier future. While you wait for our next video, check out these four recommended videos on your screen right now. They're packed with valuable information just for you. Thank you so much for watching until the end. See you in the next video, and take care.